Were you scared of Dominic Cummings? Do you know, I think when you come from uh, the background that I have, which is like very, very working class and very normal, um, the things that scare me are sort of like people around me being in poor health, not people. Do you understand why some people have found him intimidating? I mean, I can I can see why he or anyone else in government, particularly those who are in really powerful roles, can be seen that way. But you didn't feel intimidated by him when he asked for your phones and then requested for a police officer to take you down Downing Street? I think I think more broadly, I've come across situations in my life. One of those has been like held at knife point where I live. I think there have been other situations where I have felt sort of intimidated. For me, much of how I'm written is about one person. And I sort of feel today that I don't want to be a footnote in someone else's history. And that actually it's much more important to talk about the other people. There's obviously been a personnel change, as you highlight, since Christmas. And, and how think- did you feel when you heard Dominic Cummings was leaving? I mean, he didn't get a police escort down Downing Street. Street. You may have noticed that as he walked out with his cardboard box. Um, I don't know the circumstances of, of him leaving. I mean, I guess I was much more focused on kind of um, what is the government working on? How will they work on it? What, I mean, do those but, priorities change? you must have change? a view. Do you think it will be, be... You've just mentioned the change of personnel. We've heard it's going to be a kinder politics. It's going to be different at the absolute top of the government. Do you believe that? I do. Uh, and I think that um, whilst I don't know them very closely, that people like Allegra Stratton do believe that um, sort of the treatment of special advisors has to change and that there are more protections in place now. 